students, I welcome you back to this lesson where we are still talking about physical quantities. You know, we define these physical quantities in our previous lesson. I will do that here again. And I said that physical quantities are simply certain characteristics or certain properties of matter that can either be measured with a measuring device or an appropriate equation. Now, of all these physical quantities that we have, of all physical quantities, they can be grouped into two major, two major groups. And they are the basic quantities and then we have the derived. quantity. Students, I must say that we also have other quantities we call the scalar quantities and then the vector. We shall be talking about them. But to tell you the truth, of all the quantities that we have, they can be grouped into two major, major groups. And these are the basic quantity and then the derived quantity. Now these two quantities basic and derived, we are going to look at them individually. Now we have first what you mean by basic quantity. Quantity. What is it? In fact, students, when we say something is basic, in a way, it is fundamental. In a way, it is the simplest. In a way, it is more or less, less a stepping stone. Look, they will ask you, what are the basic requirements for your university admission? Haven't you heard that before? The basic requirements for your university admission. And they will tell you English, math, so basic, more or less, is a stepping stone to higher grounds. Now, if I have a quantity, and that quantity does not consist of any other quantity apart from that quantity alone, then we shall call that quantity basic quantity. I repeat. If I have a quantity, and that quantity does not consist of any other thing apart from that quantity alone, then we shall call that quantity basic quantity. But you see, if I put two or more basic quantities together, and they form a quantity, then that quantity has been derived from those basic quantities. And so I'll call that quantity a derived quantity. And so we say that quantity is said to be a derived quantity if that quantity consists of two or more of the basic quantities. Look, we want to demonstrate this for you to see. And I, hear we, I have with me here an apple, orange, a pineapple, and banana. <laughs> and when we squeeze All right, students, when we squeeze the orange, this is what we got. So I'm putting it right behind the orange. The apple, sorry, 
The pineapple gave us this. We squeeze the juice out of the pineapple and we are getting this. We blended the banana and we are getting this. We are talking about the juice. The juice that we are getting out of these fruits. And finally, the apple also. They are basic because for orange, you only find orange and nothing else. It's simply orange and nothing else. You find, you take the pineapple, it is simply pineapple and nothing else. And so, the pineapple juice will, is simply pineapple and nothing else. You know, we define basic quantity as a quantity which does not consist of any other thing apart from that quantity alone. So we can call these juice basic juice. But watch this. I'm going to put them together. I have this container here. So transparent for you to see. I will take the apple, which is a basic item, basic fruit. Pour just a bit of it. I will take the orange as a basic fruit. Pour a bit of it. I will take the pineapple as a basic fruit. I will pour a bit of it. And finally, I'm going to take the banana as a basic fruit and I'll pour and when I do that I'll take the spoon and mix students how will you call this fruit what is it is it orange is it pineapple is it apple is it banana there's no name given to it and we call this one a derived fruit because it has been derived from apple, orange, pineapple, and banana. Look, this is what the big companies are doing. And they will package this one into a small container. And this is what we are sold. Sold out. And guess what the name on it? Multi, multi fruit. A lot of fruits put together. So this, this is a derived fruit, while these ones are basic fruits. So you see, with this understanding, you will appreciate that a basic quantity is a quantity which does not consist of any other quantity apart from that quantity alone and a derived quantity is a quantity which consists of two or more of the basic quantities when we come back we shall be listing examples of each i will see you again